Down there with AB Boxing News. I'm here with national promoter Eddie Hearn. I'm gonna be shit you at. I'm trying to be like you, but it seems no, like I can't. I can't wear stuff like that. You're a street cool. I'm just like sort of um, old, old school. Cool. Right. 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 Passion two worlds. I'm trying to be like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, we need more like this. Well, we'll make it happen. Eddie, there's a lot of talk about Thursday. Charles. Yeah. He said that you gotta shoot your office up. No. What's going on, Eddie? But people are very good at convincing and brainwashing those people. Okay. Because if our offer, and I know it is twice as big as what he's fighting for at the moment, if my offer's not that big, what's his current? Tiny. So, so um, we'll shoot our offer up. We'll send him a new one. Are they worth the trouble? Because it seems like, like, you, you, like you, you said about a while that you don't want to waste your time. But it seems what you and Charlie see. The problem is, is that some people on that side of the street have got a very good way of convincing people that this way is the right way. So when you look at the uh, pay per view, right? So look at my capacity right now. Right now, they're being told, don't go on the We'll put you on pay per view on show time. So how many people are going to buy a pay-per-view to get my money against the expenses of 200,000? So, but they're probably being told it doesn't mean it. So, uh, you know, it's frustrating, but it's just, we've just got to let it play out. Because they'll see. You know, these guys will see. A pay-per-view is going to die. Showtime don't have any fight schedule right now. That's all. I think they've got one in fact. Right? So, if you want to watch Showtime, you've got pay for the Showtime service, and you've got to buy a pay-per-view of every month for December, January and February. It's going to end in tears. Do you feel like it's more than that? Because the way I analyze the way they were told about it, it seems like one of the elements of the trust with, with the Golden Boy, we're talking about the upbringing that Jamal mentioned it. I don't know if Golden Boy is rocking with the African Americans. Yeah. If Eddie Hearn was to tell him, hey, do you rock with the African Americans? Yeah. What would Eddie Hearn tell Jamal? No, I'm not really into that sort of stuff. I mean, I, you know, like, that sort of stuff is used to get people's ear and trust in a fake way. So like you can want to go up to a white fire and go, come on, we've got to stick with that. That, that doesn't exist. So I'm not interested in male, female, black, white, Asian. I'm interested in great business. So that line is used to people's benefit. But for us, I don't care. I mean, you could be, you know, Louis, Louis Arias, and I'm interested in, you know, especially when he looks like that. Money, more money, great promoting, great fights, energy. Al Heyman's not a promoter, right? So he's an advisor. So how could an advisor make a fighter turn down three times as much money as he's earning at the moment? Answer, to benefit him. Just like Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions, won't let Javonta Davis fight on his own because it'll affect their relationship with Showtime. The kids out there going, oh, I just want to fight. Now you're getting an offer for three times as much money as you're making at the moment. But it doesn't suit your promotion fund. Or it doesn't suit your advisor. It shouldn't be that. Or if I was in the UK and a fight was earning a million pound fight, and they come to me and said, I've been offered three million, can I do it? You do it with them. I'm not even asking. I don't want to steal you from the Davis. I'm asking me with promotions. Of course. So if someone comes to me and says, I want to give your fighter three million, the fighter should say to me, you're not stopping me doing this. I'm sorry. And just because it doesn't suit my TV net, that's irrelevant. You've got a job to do for your fighter. So at the moment, there's a lot of people that are scared. Like, Heyman fighters. Heyman doesn't want his fighters to fight with him because it won't go down well with the fight. It's showtime. When you're off two or three times more than you're making at the moment. You can't just keep spinning the line. Oh yeah, but it's on the zone. They're not going to get any fighters. Then Canelo signs. You know, then the numbers get better and better. Oh, uh, well, no, you can't do it because Eddie Hearn's never promoted in America before or Zeno. The excuse is going to get so thin. But sooner or later, the fighters going to turn around. Where's my money? But a very short career. Yeah, of course. Lastly, the father to go that Dana, uh, Dana White saying he's really coming to box. Been doing that, saying that for three years. But are you, uh, are you if he wants to work with you, like uh, building cars together, are you if open? Dana White came into boxing, it would be absolutely brilliant for boxing. Brilliant, okay. brilliant. Okay. If I went into MMA, it'd be brilliant for MMA. The more people with power and ambition in the sport and the ability to put money into the sport, get money from broadcasters, the better. We're talking about that's why when HBO left boxing, people were celebrating in the business. It was gutter. 
because they're, they're a brand synonymous for the sport. They've put the money into the sport. They've saved the sport on many occasions. You just mentioned about MMA. When is a timetable that we might see you about the MMA world? If you had to make a prediction right now, you never know. You never know. Okay. But it's open. It's always open. Okay. I just want to hear from Eddie Hearn saying. Never met a dollar of that life. That is true. Thank you, Eddie.